This is the main component of a 20 IP camera system, which is the NVR from Hike Vision. It should support four terabyte hard drives and here are the specs full HD eight hard drives at four terabytes each and this is the model number DS9632 and I dash ST this is the unboxed NVR it is pretty heavy even without the hard drives in there two side fans you have your video out audio in VGA out HDMI out USB to LAN port your alarm out eSATA and power supply and here's the model number again one of the best features of this box is that face opens up to get quick access to the SATA ports you have eight of them and I'll be installing two four terabytes purple Western digital hard drives that box came with a lock I mean a key for the lock for the front face and remote control batteries cords, SATA cables, I'm not sure why I would be using these because I would be plugging in the hard drives directly to the board, a mouse and these are the rails for the hard drive and it came with screws as well. The rails got installed two screws on each side and I'll be opening up the face HD 1 and 2 on the left side This is the first one. And the second one. I hooked up the NVR to the VGA port to a monitor. First thing is to create a password. That uh, beeping noise you are hearing is usually the hard drives not being formatted it gives it gives an error error beep here we go so after the password formatting the hard drives I went into the interface and the hard drives are being formatted. It might take a while to finish. That's the second 
step the third step I usually work on is the network I will set the NVR to DHCP to obtain an IP address through DHCP because right now I'm not sure how the network is set up this way I'll be able to log on to the router and I'll find the IP address of the NVR to reconfigure it with the cameras once I'm on site. I backed out to the live view menu and then right click menu usually if you're not logged on you'll be asked for the admin password system configuration I'm going to check my network it obtained an IP address automatically from the network next I'll be usually setting up the dynamic uh, DNS if there is no static IP provided by the internet service provider also I'll be setting up the, the time and I will usually go with the NTP so the time is updated automatically I use uh, I use pool dot NTP dot org apply and we'll see how this will work right now it's 936 it's supposed to be 535 we'll give it some time updated automatically so this step is done let's check on the hard drives the hard drives are good I know they're good because I'm not hearing the beep anymore I will be setting up the dynamic DNS off camera this dynamic DNS is provided by Hike Vision all you need to do is pick enable it first and then you would pick a name here if it's available you'll be able to access your NVR through it it would be like if you go th through a web browser would be this address forward slash the name you provided here or if you use the Hike Vision client software, you would choose Hike Vision D Dynamic DNS and then you will use this name and you'll be able to access the NVR. I configured the Dynamic DNS and I got a message registration successful. Uh, the next step would be NAT. You will need to open up a port, usually HTTP port to the outside of the network. The default is port 80, usually port 80 is blocked in residential internet. I will, even though if a commercial setup does not block port 80, it might be used for something else at the business so we will change the http port and i usually also change the server port those two ports 
to be able to get remote access from outside the network also some routers support UPnP this is plug and play so if you enable this and if the router supports it it will automatically open up those ports so I'll have the UPnP open up and I will edit uh, this port maybe I will use uh, 7080 and for the server ports I will use 7081 this way it will be easier to open two consecutive ports on the router with one entry so 7080 7081 and then apply here is the testing router interface this is our NVR DHCP gave it this IP address so we need to go into the port forwarding section and then those two ports the 7080 and 7080 uh, one are TCP ports and this is the address for the NVR add then save it now that we changed the HTTP port we have to be careful when we use an internal IP address like this one to follow it by the new port number and if we're accessing the NVR through the public IP we also have to add the port number first thing I would check would be after we got the NVR on the network and all is running well hard drives are good I would check the firmware to see if this is the latest software the NVR has and uh, I checked it already and this is the latest high vision has for this NVR our time is good everything is synchronizing I was able to access the DVR from outside the network through the dynamic DNS I set up this machine is ready to go and uh, next will be the wiring and installing the cameras 20 cameras I will keep you posted I have most of my cameras uh, wired, installed, mounted and uh, it is time to start adding them to the NVR. To start I would recommend to get three tools from uh, heightvision.com, the SADP and uh, the IVMS 4200 and the web browser to log on directly through the web interface I left all my cameras uh, IP addresses they will default to 192.168.1.64 the camera does not come with a password at least those the high vision uh, American market ones so they will show up in SADP right now there are none because I added them and they will show up as well in IVMS at the bottom here under the server tab device management server tab they will show up under here see this one is security active and security week 
but it's active they will show up the IP address will be the 192.168.1.64 with the security being inactive what you can do either through the IVMS or the SADP tool I recommend to use the SADP tool you could select you could batch select and activate and activate your cameras you will be asked for a password to activate you put your password two times and you activate it will activate all your cameras your cameras will still have the dot 64 IP address what I did also is through SADP I batched uh, DHCP all the cameras I made them go to the router and get a an IP it's not a static IP it's a DHCP IP I let the router assign the desired IP then now we have an IP and we have a password for the cameras it is time to add them to the NVR through the web interface we can also through the IVMS we could do the same thing if you go into remote configuration through the web interface under system and camera management uh, you could you could quick add it will show you the list of all your cameras and as you see here the DHCP provided IP addresses you could select all and add them but I had an issue with the password uh, I'm not sure which password it does when it quickly add of all of them because it did not prompt me for a password what I did is I went ahead and added each one individually I got the IP address from the quick add and I used the password that was used for activation and I added them one by one if I went through the quick add and uh, the password wasn't the right password and I got blocked I got uh, after I think seven times after seven bad passwords you will be blocked by the camera for 30 minutes I waited 30 minutes and I went I added them manually one by one when you get blocked you will see blank blank under security blank blank it the web interface did not tell me that I was blocked I had to go into IVMS under IVMS and uh, remote under the remote uh, configuration and under the camera which is the same menu as the web interface but I was given a password error uh, I'll show you an example here under quick ads here like the dot 22 I went manually and added 192.168.1.22 and uh, admin admins passwords and you add them it takes a while to connect and then maybe maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds and it will connect Okay, we'll be a good 